Okay. This is going to go on a long way, but that's okay. So here we have our pattern for void. Here we have our pattern for energy. Here we have our pattern for distinguish. And here we have our pattern for extend. But now, now we have a new pattern for extend that looks like this. And we have a new pattern for distinguish that looks like this. So all well and good. Alrighty then. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 24, Float. In today's episode, we set out to extend our animation, which you've just seen us talking about here, and also extend our composition for what we're calling the void story. And if you recall, the void story has four chapters called Void, Energy, Distinguish, and Extend, and this has been our reference figure. And so we have four chapters in the composition, such as here, the void cadences, and then paging on down, we have the energy figures, the distinguished cadences, and the extend figures. And we also have these four chapters. And so today we spent a fair amount of time on fixing both of them up. In particular, we added a new vertical trails effect, which is this thing right here. Not only are the trails going straight down vertically from the, the vertical bars, but they're also, the bars are selectively being driven right, middle, left, and the colors are also being driven. So we got that done. Then we also did energy interval figures, which is this, which in particular, you can see inside of this sine wave shape, uh, we have a trough, uh, a triple figure, and a uh, one, two, three, a five figure, and a seven figure, and they all fit in there, and they're also being driven. Uh, the outer figures are being driven just by volume of the microphone, and the inner figures, transparency as well as color, are being driven. So we did that. So those were brand new techniques that we've worked out. We then extended the composition. Uh, we had something we called adding echo bars. For example, here, the original thing went like this. And then we had a pause. So now we are using. We also did something called hysteresis transpositions, which basically means um, we climbed up and up and up, and then we just jumped back to the beginning without climbing our way back down. And we did that way down here in the fourth chapter, uh, extend, because we wanted the idea of extending. So here, for example, and then we jumped up, uh, we jumped up by three here where it says three. So that was a new technique. Uh, we also matched cadences to the figures um, these cadences here. Then normally we pick cadences and then we make figures to go with them, but this time we did it the other way around, so we called that a hybrid technique. We used uh, syncopated backbones, which is something we've used before. An example of a syncopated backbone is right here. And we also did that further up. Uh, we also use uh, a technique we call echo, drum echo. So the idea of uh, echoing the pitches sounded good to us. So here in the fifth bar, here. Well, you can't tell it's an echo unless you let everything play. And then we also went through and adjusted our dynamics, which is a reprise technique. So what we're going to do is play the new version to date of Void Story, which is up to 186 seconds, which is three minutes. It's got four chapters. 
So that breaks it up into less than 60 second intervals, which is our golden rule of thumb for keeping something that, that sounds interesting. So here we go. So that concludes today's stream. What we really like about the piece so far is that we've got the whole thing on the potter's wheel. We've got it continuing to shape it and, and fine shape it. We like having every, every part of the composition has at least three lines. And that's going to be important because when we're using an animation, uh, for example, here, if we have three parts, the question is what what's going to drive each of these bars? And one answer is that the first and the last bar could be driven by one part where they're just going in opposite mirror directions. And then the second and the sixth could be driven by a second part. And then, and then, and then we have cadences. So we really have, um, we have, we'd like to have more parts we think we think we would like to have more parts so we like the fact that we were able to get three parts all the way throughout because if you remember our previous stream you see there's no figures on this part in this chapter they're up here but in this chapter there's no polyphon line whereas down here there's a polyphon line so we're thinking about adding yet another line maybe calling it ornament and then and going forward with that we also like the variation in the dynamics and we like the variation in tempos, especially it's, we want to keep the 150 here for the 
because we're really leaping into the composition. And we want to grab people's attention. Then we hit the this faster part. And then now that we've kind of satiated them with the fast part, we come back in with the slow part, but this is a tiny bit slower. And that's where we could probably use an ornament line. And then and then we kind of hit the 130 again. We resume tempo here. Resume tempo for fast. So so we made we feel we've made a lot of good progress. Our ideas for next time are to to uh, export these parts, get them into the animation over here, so you can see what they look like when the music is running it rather than our microphone. Uh, we talked about adding an ornament line, also a timbres and intro extra and tuning fine tuning it uh, we we also the energy scene here the energy scene needs some work you can tell if we compare that to a reference figure we, we've got the correct figures showing but they're they sort of hiding at the moment whereas our um, this thing nothing's hiding this is our whole distinguish and even when it, there's no music playing it kind of stands there and glows at you like neon. Uh, and these stand here. And the extend area, uh, well, this is being, extend is kind of being replaced by that. So it's in good shape. Distinguish is being replaced by this. So it's in good shape. So basically energy, energy, the energy chapter needs uh, scene. The energy scene needs to, to be developed. And then we're still thinking about some kind of a lyric to go with this. So thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, interest, questions, patience. Mr. Spatz came by. Good, good on you, Mr. Spatz. And do come back. Do tune in to our next episode. Do take care and do keep on streaming.